Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run Neobaz algorithm in Orange. Neobaz is a popular machine learning algorithm used for classification task. It is based on the Bayes theorem and makes an assumption that the features used for classification are conditionally independent, which means that the presence or absence of one feature does not affect the presence or absence of any other feature. In practice, Neobaz is commonly used for text classification, spam detection, and other similar tasks where the assumption of conditional independence of features may hold reasonably well. This assumption allows the algorithm to be computationally efficient and work well on large datasets. We can build a Neobaz classifier where we have datasets of email labeled as spam or ham, that is non-spam which can automatically classify incoming e emails as spam or ham. After running the Neobias algorithm, it is necessary that we evaluate it. The evaluation is done with the help of con confusion matrix. On y-axis, we are having two labels, the actual observation of the data. On x-axis, we are having the predicted label. So let's talk about this case. The person is having the COVID and the uh, prediction done by the model that the person is also is having a COVID. So the actual observation and the prediction done by the model is same. So 50 such cases are there. The second scenario, the person is normal and the prediction done by the model that the person is normal. So 114 such cases are there. So 114 plus 50, 164 cases are such which are correctly classified. Now let's talk about this part. Person is normal, but according to the model, the person is suffering from the COVID. So six such cases are there. Let's talk about this part. The person is having a COVID, but according to the model, the person is normal. So 22 plus 6, 28 such cases are there, which are misclassified. 50 plus 114, 164 are correctly classified cases. These are known as misclassified cases. These are not desirable. This is known as a leakage in the model cross-validation. Cross-validation is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. We can also say it is a technique to check how a statistical model generalizes to an independent data set. Let's understand this concept. This is all data, which we will divide it into two parts, training data and testing data. The green one is a training data and the blue one is a testing data. Now the data is again segregated in five poles. So if there are 100 observations in each pole, there will be 20 observations. In first iteration, the fold one becomes a testing data and the remaining are the training data. In second iteration, fold two becomes a testing data and the remaining are the training data. So the iteration is continued for five or six times and the optimal parameters are optimal we get the optimal parameters now let's see how we can do this in orange so we will go on the canvas the first widget which will activate is a file widget click on it now double click on it browse your own data sets that is heart one click here open the name of the variables are displayed in the first column that is age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol. I will request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video so that you can understand the flow of these tutorials. Fasting blood sugar, resting ECG and the target variable is the person is having a heart disease, yes or no. Make sure that you specify the target variable then only the model will run close now you go in transform and activate the data sampler click on it connect file with the data sampler double click on it so the sampling type available is fixed proportion of the data 70 percent goes for training 30 percent for testing fixed sample size can be extracted i can write the number and that must that will be extracted with replacement or without replacement cross validation can be done so here 10 folds will be created so we will start with the first one, fixed proportion of the data. Click here, close. 
now you go in evaluate and activate test and score connect data sampler with the test and score but we require a model for this model is nearby which is available in model click here now connect new buys with the test and score double click on it and you got the evaluation results area under the cow 0.923 classification accuracy 0.857 f1 0.857 precision 0.858 recall and this is matthews correlation coefficient you can also activate the cross validation to see the difference in the results this is random sampling other options which are available are leave one out test on train data test on test data now close this the next thing we will activate is a confusion matrix this i have already explained click here connect test and score with the confusion matrix done double click on it so 805 are such cases in which the actual observation that is a person is not having a heart disease and the prediction done by the model is that the person is not having the heart disease so no and no 805 correct classification let's talk about this one the person is having a heart disease and the prediction done by the model is also yes so 107 are such cases so 107 plus 1071 sorry 1071 plus 805 are correctly classified cases if i talk about this one the person is having a heart disease and the prediction done by the model is no so 179 are such cases and here actual is no the person is not having a heart disease but the prediction done by the model is yes the person is having a heart disease so 179 plus 135 is are misclassified cases close it next in evaluate we are having roc analysis click here let's create some space so that we can bring more widgets here connect test and score with roc analysis double click on it so you can see this line you can see this curve on y axis we are having sensitivity and on x axis one minus specific specificity under the ideal scenario this line green line should be nearer to y see the trajectory and x axis like this so this is an ideal situation now close this activate the performance curve which is in evaluate click on it connect test and score with the performance score double click here so performance curve shows the curves for analyzing the proportion of true positive data instances in relation to the classifier's threshold or the number of instances that we classify as positive so from here we can change the target yes lift curve you can get it cumulative gains precision recall so activate lift curve same is the case in roc analysis also double click on it and make the target as yes the next thing which we will do is activate the data sampler keep it here bring it here and activate the predictions double click on it just try to recall 70 percent goes for training 30 percent goes for testing so 30 percent is left out this 30 percent will be feed it into the predictions new bias algorithm connect here double click here connect remaining data the 30 percent data with the data click ok double click on predictions and this is the prediction for the for remaining 30 percent so this 30 percent we never feed it in the model the completely uh, uh, a new data set okay close this next thing which we have to do is disconnect this line keep the data sampler on the top new bias here now we will bring the baseline model that is the constant new bias uh, is already active one more let's activate tree done one more random forest okay 
connect file with the constant constant with the test and score constant with the prediction connect file with the new bias new bias with the test and score new bias with the prediction done connect file with the tree decision tree test and score and prediction connect file with the random forest random forest with test and score and random forest with the predictions double click on it so we will have to make we will have to include one more widget here so go in the file widget click here double click on it browse so we are having two data sets heart one on which uh, the new bias algorithm uh, we we ran the new bias algorithm and heart one test so these are completely new instances 10 new instances which were never fed in, in the model press open so this uh, data set consists of all the variables except the target variable the heart disease is not there so we rely on the algorithm uh, to, to for the classification close this connect file one with the predictions now double click on it and just see according to the new bias the constant the decision tree and random forest okay now which model is better that we can get it from test and score so from here you can take the decision so new bias is the best model the same thing you can get it from confusion matrix also double click on it so the confusion matrix constant for the decision tree random forest so where you get more classification accuracy on that basis you can take the decision which algorithm suits best to the data close it roc analysis so here uh, you have to see the curve which is which is nearer to y and x axis so possibly the pink one the pink one is uh, the random forest sorry the violet one is a random forest and the green one is new bias so new bias is much better when you click on individually okay uh, change the target class make it yes now see the changes so this was all about new bias algorithm in orange for more videos on data mining using Orange, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Just don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias. Link given in the description box.